I've got an entire case of world's smallest mystery collectibles. Yes! Let's start opening these. Ugh, this is small though. Literally, this is the world's smallest thing I've ever opened out of these. This is so tiny. What is this? <gasps> I don't have this yet. Oh my God. It is the world's smallest troll. Oh my God, is that cool. How cool. We got the smallest troll. That rhymed. <laughs> Fantastic start. Now knowing my luck, we will get another troll. No, this is bigger. Feels like an action figure or a toy car. <laughs> Knew it. I believe though there's supposed to be a keychain connected. Maybe I'm insane. Now you can actually go ahead and open this up and look at the car on the inside, which is really cool. I actually have um, a claw machine. And I always thought, what if I put it on location somewhere and filled it with all of these world's smallest doubles that I get? How many of you would play that? Let me know in the comments and I'll do it. <laughs> I swear, I think this is another troll. It's an orange troll, I'm not mad. Okay, cool. This is the smallest hater I've ever had. You are the smallest troll I've ever encountered in my life. <laughs> Ow. I'll put the troll over here. I thought we were only gonna get one troll. No. Peaches, 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 peaches. Oh, we got a tech deck. It is the world's smallest tech deck. And I still have not assembled the other one because like, I'm not even joking. Right now, if I tried to do this, all of these pieces would be just missing and uh, we wouldn't have a tech deck. See, like these are perfect things to put in a claw machine, right? And you can win something that was in a video. That'd be cool. I'm liking this idea. Another tech deck. This is insane. I knew it. What is going on? I mean, it's different though. I think it's a different board. Let me look. Yeah, so they're two different boards. So it's technically not a double. I'm gonna make a prediction here. I have one of these from last time. Listen to the sound. I knew it! But these are actually really cool. Look at this, ready? How many of you had these when you were a kid? Believe it or not, I did not. Why didn't I? Mom! I think this is a nerf. It's so weird how when you start opening so many of these, you just know right away. Yep, it is a Nerf ball. It's like a cheese puff. <sighs> Doesn't taste like a cheese puff. I'm so sorry, Haspula. We still have a lot more to go. You better have your popcorn ready because I think we got another stinking tech deck. I feel it. Didn't get a tech deck. I was wrong. World's smallest Gumby. We don't have this yet. Look at this. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Now this, this is really small. Like sometimes I'm like, they could go smaller. Like I feel like with the Hot Wheels or the Nerf ball, the Nerf ball is still a decent size. They can make it a lot smaller, but this, I'm telling you that, that that's world's smallest. That's pretty awesome. Ah, uh, this feels like a board game. There it is, it is the world's smallest Connect Four. It's like that and you get the little tiny pieces, which I opened before and I lost them. But that's really cool, world's smallest Connect Four. Have we gotten any doubles yet? Yeah, two tech decks. I jinxed us, Hot Wheel. It's a stinking Hot Wheel. Hey, but it's a different one. That's a cool one. I'll take it. Oh, <gasps> it's the world's smallest Peep Master. It looks like Barbies. It's Barbie and Ken. That's neat and what's really neat is this works. I can show you guys, here we go. So clear. Obviously this works better with the uh, human eye, but I tried my best to give you a little bit of a look and you know, it works. It's the world's smallest functioning Viewmaster. We don't have this. It's a Nerf flying disc. The world's smallest. Yes, <laughs> look at that. Good stuff. We're doing good. We are not getting doubles. I don't have to lose my voice from screaming. Look at this. We are officially down to 12. This is a troll or Gumby. Oh my God, we are actually making this collection of trolls. That's a purple troll. I love the trolls. I think it might be my favorite thing. This is a Nerf ball. That's fine though, because we just got a troll. We got the Nerf disc. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. What the heck did that happen? It is, as I predicted, another Nerf ball. This is a tech deck. Give you $100,000 if I'm wrong. Ha! It is, but it's a different design. Yeah, we don't have this design. I'm not gonna lie, I wish they just came assembled. Why would I wanna assemble that? Oh my God, I wanted this so bad and we finally got it. Oh my God. It is the world's smallest slinky. Oh my God, I love it. Guys, it is the world's smallest slinky. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I've been wanting this for so long. I thought this was such a cool concept of having the world's smallest slinky. That is satisfying, that might be my favorite. We got eight more. 
we're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. Another Hot Wheel, but it's a different one. I'll take it. This feels weird. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a Stretch Armstrong. Okay, cool. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool. I found one of these before, but I feel like these are actually more rare to come across because I feel like I've only had two of them. This is my second one. He actually left some sticky residue on me. This is big. This is big chungus. Oh, I gotcha. It's the world's smallest Uno. That is cool. Literally, you can play the world's smallest Uno with someone. Like on an airplane, which I'll be on an airplane in like two hours. I knew it. Can't even get angry though. I can't even get angry. It's a slinky. I'll take a second slinky. Yes. This is a fun double. Like I'll happily take two slinkies any day. I don't want a third slinky though. That's when I would probably get angry. This is heavy. Stretch Armstrong. I think it's world's smallest Uno again. Uno? Yep. It's so crazy how I can just feel it and know instantly. World's smallest Uno. We got two more and this is so light. So I'm guessing a troll before I even touch it. Gumby. I think it's Gumby. Yep, knew it. The world's smallest Gumby. And this is the final one. This is heavy. Stretch Armstrong. It is a Stretch Armstrong. Dang it, why are we gonna finish like that? I want to finish with something we don't have. Maybe we have everything. Oh, look how he looks. Look at his back. <laughs> He looks like he's been sitting on an airplane for like hours. Look at this guy's posture, okay? Not bad. And then look at this guy's. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad day. The floor looks a mess. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Two Stretch Armstrongs, two Nerf Balls, two Slinkies, a Nerf Disc, two Unos, three Tech Decks, two Gumbies, and two of his companion, three Hot Wheels, Connect Four, two Popcorn Ball Popping Toys. I don't know what they're called, I forget a view master, and a family of trolls. Well, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure. I'm sorry I had to take a little bit of a break, but hey, life happens. I've got some exciting news this year. I was invited to VidCon, meaning I can have a meet and greet. Finally! I've had tons of people ask me for the past few years, Brent, have a meet and greet, and I will finally be able to do that, and it'll be properly organized. They're gonna give me more details of when it is, but I recommend you follow my Instagram because that's most likely where I'll post it, but I will probably make a mention of it in a YouTube video as well. So if you are going to VidCon, I'll see you there. I've got merch at www.brenttelevision.com. And if you're still watching this video and that subscribe button is not hit, what are you waiting for? It's free. That's going to do it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Oh, now he's opening a popsicle, he's opening a toy. Say hello to Mr. Cameron. a video for me. And this is the mess I get to deal with after filming. It's like Christmas morning.